Hey guys, welcome back to Overdrive Motorsports. Today, an informational video on what goes on inside your engine and how to upkeep it. So today we're talking about piston and cylinder um, maintenance on a VLR 100cc. Take a look over here. We've got the cylinder removed by the client and the piston he dropped off with it. And the first thing we notice on the piston, we've got the size is 4812. So we're gonna see a brand new out of the box 4812 piston, how that mates to his cylinder, if the cylinder needs to be honed and by how much, or if we need to go up to the next size, which would be a 4814 piston. And uh, there are many piston sizes for the VLR, so you don't have to worry about uh, punching through and ruining your cylinder. So we're gonna zero the bore gauge now that the mic was zeroed on the piston. There we go. So we're zeroed on the piston. We're gonna put the bore gauge into the cylinder, measure the clearance. 3.7 thou on this one. And it's 3.7 square all around. We measure top and bottom both sides. On this particular cylinder, um, because it does have a fair bit of time on it, we would give it a hone just to get the cross hatch back in it. But on a customer house rebuild, we definitely recommend do not ball hone your cylinders. So you'd be better off just changing your piston, have a fresh piston for durability reasons, which gives you also a new ring for performance. Uh, the other thing to check on is the end gap on the ring, which is the distance between both tips when it's installed. So that's done with a feeler gauge. We're not gonna show that today, but that's definitely something you wanna have a professional do for you. If it's too close, to each other, like closer than nine thousandths of an inch. As the piston expands and heats up, so does the ring. You've got risk of the two ends touching each other and you could have a ring failure. Now, when we do want to hone the cylinder, we bring the cylinder over to the cylinder hone. Like we said, we don't use the ball hone, so we'll use a sun and hone with proper stones on it, give it the right amount of strokes. And if we do need to go oversize on the piston, no problem, you can go up to the next step and you'll have a lot of longevity. So thanks guys, this is a little look into what a top end of a 100cc engine looks like and what a do-it-yourselfer could do or what the shop could do for you. Stay tuned for more.